Hey guys, as a former teacher, I am so passionate about making learning fun and engaging at home, and you don't have to spend a lot of money to do it. So here are easy ways to incorporate learning resources on a really small budget. I'm Catherine, a former teacher, and I'm passionate about finding easy ways to stay on budget and save money. First up, where and how to get books. We love our local library for free resources and book checkout, but building a home library is so important. These are my books. Research shows that the more books you have at home, the wider children's vocabulary is, and it's linked to higher academic achievement. And wiggle your nose. Good job. We like to shop thrift. I love when I find leveled readers at the thrift store for just a dollar. Garage sales and even call up our local libraries to find when they have book sales. Almost all of the books in our house were purchased secondhand and done on such a small budget. Variety is key, so choose lots of fiction and nonfiction. Does biting hurt? Yeah. Yeah, it does hurt. We have some self-help books. <laughs> Tip two, easy cookie sheet activities. I love getting $1 trays and cookie sheets from the dollar store to create Montessori-inspired activities. Montessori just means real-world application rather than traditional textbook methods. Whoa! Here you're focusing on hands-on activities that can engage your kids in an easy space they can work on and using stuff that you already have at home. We like activities with sorting, counting, and patterns. Try things like buttons, coins, beans, and anything that you already have in your pantry or house. Oh. You might be a little young for this one. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Another great option are building, constructing, and fine motor. You can use things like blocks, Play-Doh, and even puff balls and tongs. This is great for kids of all ages. For all you moms out there who feel like you waste a ton of money on Play-Doh, get Floam. It never dries out and forms any shape really easily. We also adore phonics activities. I loved Elle's episode about putting salt on a plate to practice letters, and you can even use popsicle sticks. Can you make a T? That's easy. Good job. And tip three, flashcards. I am a sucker for flashcards in the store. I love finding them at the dollar store or the dollar section at Target. When looking for flashcards, you usually can find the grade level or the age right on the flashcard. And pick a variety, things like shapes and numbers and colors. This makes great pre-dinner activities and there's no prep involved. You can also check online for free printable versions and Pinterest is a great resource. You can look for flashcard packs that match up with your school's benchmarks or even ask your child's teacher what they're working on so you can choose appropriate flashcards to support their learning at home. There's so many awesome $1 workbook options. And to make the pages reusable, you can use a clear plastic sheet protector or they even sell versions at the dollar store so your kids can practice again and again. We also moved on recently to Sight Words with Carson. We got all of them at the dollar store or made them at home. He's doing so well and it's so cool to watch him put together sentences. I won and jump. I hope you give some of these tips a try and I will catch you guys next week. Bye. Are you gonna read any of these, Owen? Or are you just taking them out? <laughs>